Ever since Android 6.0 Marshmallow was released back in 2015, Android has allowed us more control over the apps we have on our phone in terms of the permissions that we're allowing them to use. If you're using a flashlight, for example, and it's asking for camera usage, location on a map, that's a red flag. You're gonna to wanna to uninstall that app. In this video, I'll show you how to control the permissions on your phone individually for certain apps, and also to look at your permissions more generally and just see which apps are using which permissions on your phone to keep you safe and protect your personal privacy, because that's important. First, we're gonna look at the individual app permissions on your phone. To do this, you go into your settings on your phone, click in your settings, and then you're gonna click on apps. So you can see all the apps listed in here. You can click see all 199 apps on my phone, for example, if you want. And then you can see the individual permissions on each of these apps. Um, so let's say I'm going to my camera. What permissions does the camera on this Android Pixel 7a phone have? I click on permissions. Obviously, I'm gonna allow the camera. If I didn't allow the camera on the camera app, probably wouldn't do me much good. Location. So this is if you're taking photos, it'll show you where you're at, but you can turn that off. If you wanna turn this off or limit it, you click on that. Right now I'm allowing only while using the app, I can ask every time for permission or don't allow. So it's up to me, I have control over those. So you can do that with any of your apps. You just find the app, look in the permissions. Now that I've showed you for individual apps, I'm gonna show you how to kind of just see on your phone in general what apps are using which functionality on your phone to make sure that you're feeling you know like you have control over this thing you don't want your phone recording you sending out your location etc when you don't want it to to do this you're going to go back into your settings on your phone and instead of clicking on apps individually this time you're going to go down to security and privacy if you're in england or privacy if you're in the u.s depends how you want to say it i kind of like privacy Sounds more sophisticated. To see the permissions you've granted on your whole phone, the Security and Privacy Center is really nice because it surfaces some right up top that you might want to be aware of, like Maps. It says you're using location on Maps. Okay, fair enough. Maps aren't going to be very useful without the location, so I'm good with that. Um, but if you want to see what, what your phone's using across apps, what permissions, you go down to Privacy at the bottom. It says Privacy Controls. And you click on that and permissions is within here. So then you click on permissions manager right there. And then you can see there's all these different types of permissions. And this just shows the list of all the things possible. So if you have uh, body sensors, for example, if I was wearing an Apple watch, you know, Garmin Fitbit watch, whatever it might be, I'd probably want to be using the body sensors to measure my heart rate, heart rate but I don't have one of those on right now, so not using it. Um, camera, for example, that's a big one. You don't want people recording, taking pictures if, if you don't allow them to. So you click on camera like I did before. And I was in the camera app previously, so I showed you what that one's using. But this is all these different apps that are using my camera. Like Amazon Shopping, for example. Why do they need my camera? Let's see. You just click on that. This says allow while using the app. So for Amazon Shopping, I might see something that I'm interested in buying or some guy's walking down the street in some sweet sneakers, and I'm like, I want some of those. I take a picture. Maybe the shopping app's going to recognize that, and I can buy it on Amazon. You never know. Or I could just not allow it if I didn't want it. I could ask every time I open the app, or just don't allow it, whatever I want. So maybe I'll just have the ask every time. I don't know how comfortable I am with them just having blanket permission to my camera whenever they want. I don't know, it's probably fine, but just in case. You know, some apps are bad. Like, they'll, you'll install them on your phone, like the flashlight one back in 2014 I mentioned, also linked in our article. Um, asking for permissions, like location and other data, so it could just sell your information. I don't know, that's bad. You don't want apps like that. Um, so that's how you can see all the permissions across your apps. You can scroll down, there's a huge list. There's files, music, microphone, etc. Um, so there's one other thing I wanted to show you as a bonus tip in this video, which is if you're having a private conversation, you're like, I want to make sure my camera, my microphone are not on for any apps across there. Android's made that possible to just quickly turn off 
the permissions in this app. So to do that, you go into your quick settings on your phone. If it's not in the short menu up here, you can click the pencil icon and drag them over. Um, but on here, you can see I've got mic access. If I want to just turn off the mic access on this phone altogether, I just click that. And now the mic is blocked across all apps on the phone. I don't have to go in individually and turn them all off. I can just block the mic access right there. You can also do this with a camera on here. So I can find the camera right there. I put it in my quick settings. So the camera, I can just click that and now the camera is off. So no apps on my phone can use the camera. So if you're like deciding the fate of the world in some UN meeting in Switzerland, like Lake Geneva or something, you're like, I got to turn off the camera, the mic, go into your quick settings, turn it off just like that. It's blocked. I'm going to leave mine on. Same with the mic. You can just turn it off. Just make sure it's secure. And then, uh, you know, if you want to be really secure, just leave your phone outside of the meeting, shred it up in like a blender or whatever, you know, explode like Mission Impossible, whatever you want to do. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you feel more comfortable being privacy safe on your Android dev device. Google's made it nice to uh, control all that. Um, we have more information in our article as well. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.